Hey guys, what's up? This is Awesome Sauce bringing us another Awesome Sauce video, and today I am doing another Overwatch guide video. And today we're talking about Hanzo Shimada. Hanzo is 38 years old, Japanese, and before he joined the Overwatch team, he was a mercenary and an assassin. Uh, Hanzo has affiliation with the Shimada clan, and as you saw from the trailer, Hanzo's brother is Genji, which is a real plot twist. <laughs> Hanzo plays defense, has 200 health, and Overwatch puts him into a defense, uh, sniper category. This is kind of a loose category for Hanzo because ha some of Hanzo's abilities... Hanzo needs to be more like close range a person to really get kills, unlike Widowmaker, which has a hit scan weapon. But I'll talk about that more later. So, Hanzo has five different abilities. Let's start with the first ability, which is Wall Climb. This is a passive ability in which you jump into walls and you climb them. You basically jump in, hold space, and it'll running up the walls. This is, I love this ability because it's really good for getting to high places, sneaking up on your enemy, and getting really good vantage points to just pick at your enemies, just get them super annoyed, and get some easy frags on some light classes. Speaking of like light classes and getting frags, uh, let's talk about the Storm Bow, Hanzo's main weapon. So basically Hanzo knocks and fires an arrow at his target one arrow at a time. Every time he shoots an area, he has to reload, just keep reloading. So, the Storm Bow, fully charged, can do 125 damage in, like, as a body shot. But then when you shoot it into the head, it ups the damage by almost 50% more. This means that, like, a fully charged Hanzo arrow can almost one-shot most classes, like, light, most light classes, like, Hans. <laughs> I mean, you could headshot other Hanzos, Widowmakers, maybe Torbion, Tracer, like, those kind of characters. So this is... This is the character for really taking out those light classes. I like to, uh, Hanzo also with the bow, you, you don't always have to charge it up. You can always just do little short charge shots, which depending on how, lar how long you charge it, you can do as little as 25 damage if you just keep reloading and spamming, all the way up to 125 damage, which is like, so anything in between there de depends on how long you charge it. So let's talk about Hanzo's uh, next ability, which is the Sonic Arrow. This is kind of similar to the uh, to Widowmaker's ability, which allows her to see people through walls and says, I think it should be buffed a little bit. I don't know. So Hanzo basically launches an arrow that contains a sonar tracking device, and any enemies in range of the arrow are marked red, making it easier for allies and you to see them. I like to do this to uh, watch flanks, stop pushes, or make sure people aren't trying to solo cap objectives. So basically, you want to aim this so that it can maximize the range so that you can get... Uh, multiple, uh, so you can really help your team out and really see the enemies to help not only you but your uh, team get frags. And then I'll sh there'll be some video clip on the um, video showing you, like how it works. So next, let's go on to Hanzo's next ability, Scatter Arrow. So basically, Hanzo's next ability is their Scatter Arrow, which is probably one of the best abilities Hanzo has for closer range. This is really good because Hanzo shoots basically an arrow, kind of like a shotgun that bounces off grounds and walls and hits multiple targets with multiple projectiles. I, l I like to use this ability to check corners, clear rooms, or hit weak enemy enemies because it makes it harder to shoot for me to miss or choke. Like, let's say, I don't know, um, Torbion is running away with like 5 health and he turns the corner. Well, I'm like, I can always shoot an arrow, but will it I have a really low chance of missing when I can just switch to my scatter arrow, shoot the wall, and basically just get an instant, like a free frags, you know, free frags. But a real tip for this weapon is never shoot this uh, arrow directly at a target because if you just, it like, so it does 75 damage per arrow, I think, I'm pretty sure. So if you just shoot an enemy, you're doing 125 damage, which is the average damage of any arrow, when you could be shooting at a wall and if you hit them with, like, even two, you're already doing more damage than your arrow. So, basically, shooting this, shooting, it, <laughs> shooting the arrow directly at the target is like throwing a snowball at someone's face instead of the body. I mean, like, sure you hit them in the face, but you could have hit the money shot and sent them crying for your mom. You know, I guess they need a cup next time. You know, you get me, you get what I'm saying. But um, so let's go into uh, Hanzo's ultimate ability, Dragon Strike. Basically, Hanzo shoots up a charged up arrow that releases two dragons that kills anything in a large range of like area. This isn't like an insta-kill, but it slowly does damage over time. So you can, I like to use this, I, so I like to use this to hit like a big tank, you know, take him down and then uh, hit all the characters around him because a lot of times, like, people like to hang around Reinhardt's and stuff, so that's really good for that. Uh, this is also really good for blocking up choke points and objectives due to the large, the large amount of, like, enemies hit. 
And even if these enemies, like, don't die because of it, they, you at least block it off because they have no choice but to leave or die in the process, so. I liked it. That's how I like to use it. So let's just go over some general tips for Hanzo. So, Hanzo is really, I like to really use Hanzo for aerial uh, denial and uh, strong team utility. So I make sure to use Sonic Arrow and Dragon Strike as much as you can because if you really use that combined with like a good team, you guys should be able to wreck because you basically, it's basically like wall hacks, I mean, I'm not gonna lie. And like, you basically, if you have like a nice Torbjorn and you have Dragon Strike and Sonic Arrow, the Torbjorn could uh, prepare and you could have people, other, your other classes making, uh, blocking out the choke points. Oh, just, it's just a good time, don't worry. <laughs> so also, I like to use uh, Hanzo's wall climbing ability a lot to get to higher places where the enemy won't see them. I like to p constantly like chip off lower classes just to make sure, like, just to get them like angry or uh, get a few frags. Cause like the more th the more time they spend trying to kill you, is the less time they'll spend trying to get the objectives. Uh, but make sure whenever you kill an enemy, not to stay in the same place. I like to like move around a lot, kind of jump around, you know, not stay in the same place. Because then you can like, so you kill an enemy, you switch to a different place. When they look for you, you just kill them again. <laughs> really, really fun time, guys. Don't worry. Really fun time. So uh, let's go to some of the downsides of Hanzo. Uh, one of the things is, uh, Hanzo is really hard to, like, master mentally, I guess, because, like, one bad shot, you know, you're on tilt. Basically, Hanzo is 90% aim. So if you cannot aim in this game, Hanzo is not the character for you. I'd pick some other character like Mei or something because you'll just get control alt deleted by other big classes and you can't hit them. Especially since this character is considered a sniper, but you really need to get up close and personal. So, like, when I get... I like to take out, so like, he, the fact that, uh, wait, okay, yeah, the fact that Hanzo has, like, no mobility, uh, is really bad, so, like, when you're challenging people like Tracer or Genji, you might want to, you, you don't really want to challenge them, like, head on, and if you do, you at least want to try with your, um, your Sonic, your Scatter Arrow, because, like, most of the time they'll win unless you get, like, a lucky headshot, but, uh, Mainly, you just want to stay back, you know, you want to sneak around the map, kill light classes, and finally, my last word of advice is do not peek Widowmakers. It's like bad news bears. The second you peek Widowmakers, they will snipe you. Because they have a hit skin weapon and you have an arrow. So even if you do headshot them, they should be able to headshot you before because of the way the arrow travels. So like a lot of times I find myself challenging Widowmakers and shooting arrows and killing them, but they have time to kill me before, so we just kind of like, we're like, we just, we're like in chess, we just take each other out. So never challenge Widows. Just like sneak up on them and shoot them from behind or something. So that was my Overwatch guide on uh, Hanzo. Make sure to hit that like and subscribe button and comment if I did anything wrong. I like some consecutive, constructive uh, criticism. I have guides for other the classes if you guys want to check them out, and I also do Let's Plays with uh, games such as Enter the Gungeon, Over, uh, I'm gonna do Overwatch, I also live stream on Twitch, I do Undertale Let's Play, I have a ton of stuff, so go check out my channel, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next Overwatch guide, or in the battlefield, peace.